Okay, guys. I'm actually going to do it week 18. Uh, oh, what am I saying? Predictions for the playoffs. Here you go. What's going on, guys? Okay, we're going to head over here. But, yeah. So, we got the 2021 playoffs course here on Playoff Predictors. They're awesome. But, of course, I got to admit this one thing. You guys might be watching all these other people. If I get them all right, I'm pretty darn good, okay? Probably won't, though. Uh, yeah, either way, guys. Like, subscribe. Hope you enjoy. This is going to be the week. Well, not the week. What am I talking This is my playoff prediction for 21. 20, the 2021-2022 NFL season. This should be really fun. Let's get right into it. Want to cut to the chase. Okay, first game we're going to do uh, raiders Bengals. I'm taking the Raiders. We'll get to the preview tomorrow. Um, But the, re the reason I'm picking the Raiders is actually kind of simple. The Raiders are honestly a better or more consistent offense than the Bengals, especially in the run game. Their defense is better than the Bengals. I'd pretty honestly say yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. I really don't want to have to go into it because we got the preview tomorrow. But, Bengals, uh, honestly, they could definitely win this. They haven't won a playoff game in 31 years, so I'm not really that... I wouldn't be surprised if they lose this. Uh, yeah, honestly, they're probably favored to win, in my opinion. But I'm taking the Raiders, just the fact they have a more experienced quarterback. And I trust them more. They've won four in a row. They're really hot. They know what their job is, and they're going to get it done. Next game, the one that's at the night game, I'm taking, um, Bills Patriots, this is actually a really good game, uh, I want, okay, so, there's two teams, of course, as you can see in the title, that are sleepers, one of them's the Bills, that's why I'm taking them, okay, so the Bills, here's why I'm picking the Bills, the Bills are just a better offense, the defenses are about similar, yeah, could have turned into the Monday night game, but the, the Monday night game from week 13, absolutely, but here's the only difference, Josh Jonah is going to come through because he knows last time he didn't come through. And he has to come through this time. Because if he doesn't, they're in a little bit of trouble. Picking the Bills. Now we go over to this game on five, uh, 1 o'clock. This game actually could be a big upset. Eagles have a really good run uh, have, have a really good run game. That's their offense. Bucks, they stopped the run basically as good as you can get. Here's the only difference. They have not been great against mobile quarterbacks this year. Let's see who they played. Uh... They lost to Washington. Taylor Heineke, you call him a mobile quarterback. Saints, Taysom Hill. They lost to him. Who else did they lose to? They lost to the Rams and Matt Stafford, but that was just because the Rams are a better team than the Bucks are. But they've lost to mobile quarterbacks, so you could put that in there too. But Tom Brady's going to win. It's, it's just unquestionable. He's going to win. No. Uh, I'm going to reset this. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah. But I, I'm not betting against Tom Brady. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just not going to bet against him. Maybe, like, yeah, you're betting against Bill, but Josh Allen's going to get it done. Okay? There's my opinion on it. He's going to get it done. This game, I'm calling it right now. 49ers are going to thump the Cow Cowboys. It's going to be a really bad game for a Cowboys fan. I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout, because it's absolutely not going to be. But the 49ers are going to run down their throat, and Dak Prescott will be getting getting sacked at least five times. He'll be put on his face. Here's why, though. They won't have the ball that much, and they won't be able to run the ball either. The 49ers, Fred Warner is the best linebacker in the NFL. Not outside linebacker, middle linebacker. You can't run against the 49ers. You can't, unless you throw really quick, you're not going to get any passes off. We'll talk about that, why the Cowboys will have to, have to deal with that. This week, yeah, they have good offensive line. I get that, but it doesn't mean they can't, they're going to be able to stop the penetration. They're not a physical offensive line. That's the problem. But though I think the 49ers are going to win this. It could be a 10 point win. It could be a 17 point win. It could be a two point win. I don't know. They're going to win the game. They're going to do it by playing a lot more physical. Um, last game of the weekend, you could per se. I'm going to pick the Chiefs beating the Steelers. Like this game is it's 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 like the most obvious one of the week. Yeah, could the Steelers win this? Maybe I don't know. Their defense is their, their strength. They can't really stop the run. Big Ben's going to have to have a career game. The, Najee Harris is going to have to run the ball like he's never ran it before in his whole entire football career. Uh, yeah, I'm picking the Chiefs. Yeah, the, the Chiefs loses. Yeah, maybe. But 
I'm taking the Tennessee. This one, I'm taking the Rams. Matt Stafford's getting over the hump. He's going to have to eventually, and this is going to be the game. They play the Cardinals. They're very familiar with them. They played. This is the third time playing them. Cardinals, why did they lose to the Lions? They turned over the ball. When The, the Rams are going to beat the Cardinals by getting turnovers and running the ball really well. And they're going to run it a lot, too, because they know it's their job. But the Cardinals, the only way to... The only way the Rams are going to beat the Cardinals is really by getting turn because the Cardinals are so, so good on the road. It's by getting turnovers and running the ball well. That's how the Lions beat them badly. The Cardinals turn over the ball, it's going to get out of hand fast with the Rams. Okay, so I can't really predict these what times they're going to be at, but I'm just going to start with this one. I'm thinking the Titans like the Raiders are going to get blown out by the Titans if this game happens. I'm just saying this pretty much because Derrick Henry most likely will be back. Raiders won't have an answer for him. I'll be honest. And if they do have an answer for him, Ryan Tannehill is just going to sling the ball around to Julio Jones and um, AJ Brown. This the Titans team. The Titans are legit. They're not the best team in this conference by any means, but they are the number one seed. They're playing at home. They got a ton of fans that are going to be there. That place is going to be packed. First one seed. They're the one seed for the first time since 2008. They deserve it, in my opinion. They're better than the Raiders. They're going to beat them up. Chiefs-Bills. I'm taking the Chiefs. Like, the Chiefs just have the Bills number, honestly. Yeah, the Bills beat them. But why did they beat them? Because the Chiefs were just off. The whole beginning of the season, the Chiefs were off. They didn't have it. They have it now. They will win this. This is a game, honestly, could go to overtime. I have the Bills. I have the Chiefs coming out with this thing. Should be a good, really good game if it happens. But, Bills, again, you're going to have to play basically perfect to beat the Chiefs. Because the Chiefs, as you know... They're really a defense. They're going to have to run the ball. Chiefs, their offense will score points against the Bills. It's just they're going to run the ball well against them. The Chiefs have always ran the ball well against when they've had needed to, especially against the Bills. I see that, yeah, and the Chiefs have ran the ball well against the Bills before. So this is my AFC championship. Now for the NFC, I'm not I'm not picking this upset. Like, the, like, the only reason the 49ers beat the Packers, I've watched this film many times. I mean, the Packers only beat, um, beat the 49ers on a game-winning field goal. Officiating, yeah, you could say it was part of it, but man, their their team was a lot different then. Like I'm just saying, like Jimmy Garoppolo was healthy, he played good, but they the Packers were sloppy to begin the season. Honestly, they didn't look that great. They're gonna play a lot better against uh, the 49ers this time because it's gonna be in Green Bay. Aaron's gonna be hungry. He's gonna want it. He's not losing in the divisional round. Not getting knocked out. Knocked out. They just don't get knocked out. I'm uh, picking the 49ers. I mean, what am I? I'm saying. I'm picking the Packers. 49ers? Yeah, they could definitely win this game. They have a better shot than the Rams beating them. If they played. But I'm take, I'm picking the Packers just for the fact they have Aaron Rodgers. And they will win this game. Bucks, Rams. Taking the Rams. Like, the Rams. The only reason I'm picking the Rams. Yeah, you could say, oh yeah, I'm a Rams fan. Yeah, you could say that very well too. But the pa Bucks, they're just not healthy. Rams will just be sitting there. They won't, Tom Brady won't be able to throw, he won't have any time. Number one, no time. Two, they won't be able to run the ball. Three, nothing downfield because the Rams are just going to be clamping down on them. The Bucks will not be able, if the if Bucks and Rams play, the Bucks will have a hard time getting the ball downfield against the Rams. Because the Rams know, they don't have a deep threat. They don't have a guy that can get downfield. Yeah, you could say Mike Evans. He won't get open. They will be able to double Gronk. They don't have anyone else who will be able to step up. Yeah, maybe Scotty Miller, but the Rams have Darius Williams to guard him. They'll be in trouble. The Bucs are going to have to play a great game to beat the Rams. The other side of the ball, yeah, the Rams might not be able to run the ball, but the Buck, the Bucks, um, secondary is so, like, just straight up young and not and just sloppy right now. Yeah, they, you could say they're a little help. They're healthier than they were the last time they played. I'm picking the Rams. They're not going to be able to double Odell or and Cooper Cup. If this game happens, I'm, take, I'm picking the Rams. Nothing against Tom Brady, but even he knows he can't do that much. You don't have the talent. AFC Championship, like, I'm picking the Chiefs. Like, I want to pick the Titans, but the Titans are not going to the Super Bowl. Uh, it's just, the Chiefs are not going to lose 27-3. to Last, They're going to just have that thing in the back of their mind if this game happens. It's not going to happen again. If you didn't know, Chiefs get lose, unfortunately. They get blown out. They lose. They beat. So, they, in 2019, they lost the Titans on a block kick, 35-32. Then they beat them 35-24 in the in the AFC Championship. They get blown out by the Titans this year, 27-3. They're going to beat them in the AFC Championship this year. There you go. The Chiefs just don't lose to a team two times in a row. It just doesn't happen. 
So yeah, I'm having the Chiefs here in the Super Bowl. Um, Rams Packers. I'm picking the Rams. And no, it's yeah, call me bias. You know what? Yeah. There you go. Rams are in the Super Bowl. Here you go, guys. Um, but the Packers, here's why. I'm a Rams fan. I'm gonna be biased. There you go. That's just how it's gonna be. The Rams, like, the Rams will beat the Packers because they did not go out and give up their mortgage, their whole future, to lose to the Packers again in the playoffs. That's the reason they got rid of Goff. He wasn't good enough to beat the Packers. He was, he was good enough to beat the Bucks. He was not good enough to beat the Packers. Aaron Rodgers will get harassed this game. He will. Because <laughs> the Rams are not giving up 400 rushing yards against the pa Packers. Packers are not that team. They're not the team that's going to go out there and just run the ball down your throat. That's the 49ers. That's why the Packers are going to have trouble playing with the Rams. Even if they're home. Matt Stafford, he's going to be hungry. He's not going to throw that many in turnovers because the Rams are going to run the ball. They didn't run the ball enough last time these two teams played. And they turned over the ball too much. The Rams are going to, the Rams are going to be playing smart football these playoffs. And they're not going to turn over the ball a ton. They could turn it over a couple times because they're the Rams. They're not going to turn it over like they have in the regular season. Because they know they can if they want to win this thing. Now for the Super Bowl. You know what? Yeah, whatever. I'm picking the Rams to win the Super Bowl. Okay? There you go. Sean McVay is going to win the Super Bowl. Because they just mortgaged their whole future. Not only that, but the Rams could beat the Chiefs. They, their defense is awesome for the Chiefs. Ben, don't break. That's the Rams' defense. Quarters coverage. Chiefs do not like that. They haven't liked it all season. They have been able to solve it. Here's the only problem. Jalen Ramsey will be on Tyreek Hill. Travis Kelsey, yeah, he'll get his catches. But here's the thing. Chiefs defense won't be able to stop the Rams. I'm sorry. They haven't been able to stop the, ran, the run all year, but that's because the team, they've been able to avoid it. They haven't been able to stop the run since, I don't know, 2017 when the run defense was good and their pass defense was terrible because they didn't have Tyron Matthew. I'm just saying, the Rams will win. If the Rams match very well with the Chiefs for this one reason, they can run the football well when they want to. When the Rams want to run the football, they can run it really well. That's how they'll win the Super Bowl, honestly. Winning the Super Bowl and no turnovers. That's how they're going to... I mean, running the ball and no turnovers is how the Rams are going to win the Super Bowl. There you go. There are my playoff predictions. Please do not say these are stupid. Yeah, they are just predictions. Please remember that. I am biased. Pl pl please. There's Steelers fans that are saying the Steelers. There are Eagles fans that are winning the Super Bowl. I'm being honest, some of these games, I'll be wrong on. There you go. Like, Rams winning the Super Bowl, I'm not confident in all, at all. I want my favorite team to win the Super Bowl. I'm picking them. Not, for the, not only for the fact that my favorite team I'm going to be favorite team. I'm going to be biased. Not only that, though. you gotta be, You got to look at the Rams film. If they, When they want to run the football, they're one of the best in the NFL at it. Just saying. Either way, guys, put, um, put your Super Bowl in the comment below. Go ahead, say they're terrible. I really don't care. Like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed. That's those are my 2021-2022 playoff predictions. Hope you guys liked it. Let's go.